Hello everybody, welcome back to How It's Gregged. Today we'll be covering the production of polytetrafluoroethylene. We've been setting up infrastructure over the past few episodes. The first setup is the electrochemical plant. In this area, we produce chlorine and hydrogen, which are both used. However, chlorine is used directly in this process, while hydrogen is converted to methane in a reaction furnace. Methane is stored in this tank, sent through these pipes, and then mixed with chlorine in a CSTR. This yields a mixture of different chlorinated solvents. These are very commonly used in many processes, but to obtain them we must send them to a distillation tower with five different outputs. The first tank handles chloroform, the second stores chloromethane, dichloromethane, carbon tetrachloride, and then finally HCl. All of these chemicals are used in many processes. Chloroform is pulled from the first tank and reacted with hydrogen fluoride from a previously discussed process. This takes place in a bubble column reactor, which outputs directly into a pyrolyse oven, where acidic difluoromethane is turned into acidic tetrafluoroethylene, which is centrifuged for tetrafluoroethylene and hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid and tetrafluoroethylene are both sent down this pipe and filtered. Tetrafluoroethylene is sent down to the mixer, which contains fluorinated surfactant. Tetrafluoroethylene is mixed with the surfactant and put directly into a polymerization tank, which contains potassium persulfate. This acts as an initiator in the reaction. The final output is polytetrafluoroethylene emulsion, which is dried, yielding surfactant and pulp. Pulp is then extruded into ingots, slates, pipes, various other products, and the surfactant can be recycled. Hydrochloric acid is finally stored in this tank here. Thank you all for watching and have a great Saturday.